all right so now we'll work on mobile app layout and navigation menu for the mobile app okay so for nav menu we have components layout main layout in nav menu we have these options home my quiz and logout so what we'll do we will have these options as a flyout section the way we have on mobile devices that navigation drawer basically that will come from left when we click on something so we'll work on this so for this what we are going to do we are going to use bootstrap and there is a bootstrap component from get bootstrap that is called off canvas we are going to use that off canvas api what happened yeah so we are using 5.1 we'll select 5.1 we'll go to components and here we should see off canvas yes this is off canvas and link so you see like this it comes from left for animation i don't know if we'll be able to do this animation because what happens is it is using javascript we are not going to use javascript but we can try to have this animation custom build with we have our logic our c sharp code we can try to do this but first thing we will simply try to work if we can directly show this from left so we have these different options we can have top we can have right we can have bottom we can have the default left with backdrop options multiple options like this so we will use this one enable both scrolling and backdrop right or maybe we can use the first one without body scrolling this enable backdrop just default this one second option we can use this okay for this what we'll do we have this off canvas start this shows the direction then it is the second one right this enable backdrop default off canvas with backdrop off canvas with backdrop yes this one so we need to use this one let's copy this go to our project in our nav menu so here after all these things we'll have it here off canvas inside this p we are going to have our nav then we'll see we'll try to design it a bit differently but for now let's have it like this then we are just going to comment this thing out we'll just have the main navbar brand this blazing quiz the main header now it will not show directly so to show if we go back and if we try to open it again we will right click inspect and let's zoom this and here if we see on off canvas start database scroll then we have this thing so here we have this show class you see if i remove it off canvas start visibility hidden if i enable it again visibility visible area model true if i remove it show class is not here it changes this class somewhere in between so off class start show and before show it adds some other class right okay so we'll get whatever we have in this open mode okay so let's copy this edit as html and the first div we'll copy this div because it has this visibility visible and this class show when we are showing this so let's go to our project we have this first div class of canvas we'll have that div here so role dialog style visibility visible the show everything okay now it should not be there on the screen always it should only be there on the ui when we are clicking on those three dots 
we need to have those three dots somewhere here okay if we go to nav menu dot razor dot css here we should have something for those three dots nav item nav item i don't know where is that display block all these things i don't know if we need all these things we'll see what all we can get rid of but right now let's do this we have the stop row navbar navbar dark container fluid navbar brand in this container fluid let's do this cut this thing and have a div here with class maybe let's just row inside this we are going to have a div class with the display flex w100 so width 100 percent then we'll have uh what should we have i want to have first those three dots on the left section and then i want to have the name of the application or the current page the name of the current page in center so here let's do this we do not need to have this as display flex w100 we can have here first thing i need a button type button class just btn btn default btn sm and then here i need this those three dots but for now i'm having just equal sign we'll work on that then i'm going to have a div here okay and here i want it to be display flex with justify content center and here i need to have i want to have the name of our app and i don't need this as a navbar brand i will simply have it direct thing but now this should be the name of the current page if i am on the let's say my quizzes page it should show my quiz i am on the home page then it should show this blazing quiz the name of the application so i would need to have this thing okay so i want to make it dynamic for that we have our section outlet and section content here we'll say section name let's say page title okay let's add this entire thing in using so we'll say section outlet sections we'll have it here let's cut it from here go to the underscore import short razor let's have it there save everything and now we should be good we have this section outlet page title it can be self closed what, what what is the name of the section in our web version let's check let's be in sync so in main layout we have page title same right copy this and page title yes we have the same page title save everything now on the home page in mobile we'll change this but i just want to have something so here we can simply use that section content with section name the same page title and here we'll say place in quiz the name of the application save it and now we are good now here when we click on this button it should toggle this off canvas okay so here we will have a piece of state private bool let's say uh, menu open default value will be false and then i'm going to have a method here private void toggle menu and then i'll simply say here underscore menu opened equals not menu open okay it should the do the opposite if it was open it will set it to false it if it was not open it will set it to true now when this menu open is true then only display the soft canvas okay then when should this toggle menu got get triggered this should be on click of this button so we'll say on click and just have this toggle menu save it let's try to start it now 
इट इज लोडिंग लोडिंग and we cannot see anything but we can see something right blazing queue is the small text here and we can see this uh, you will not be able to see this thing maybe but there is this icon if i click on it we can see this off canvas with backdrop we have this close button but nothing is happening we can see these three menus so here what we need to do we need to first work on this cancel button this close button so that when we click on this it should get removed from the screen let's quickly work on this this cross cross we have this button inside our off canvas right so here we'll say add the rate on click or rather we should not have it but let's have it here here we'll say toggle menu toggle menu save it and next thing is it is taking the entire width right that is not what i want so for this if we check here it has a width of 400 pixel a fixed width of 400 px okay so what we should have maybe we should have it percentage driven so maybe 75% okay so let's try this now we want to debug or we want to have some ui changes and all those so for this a good way to have if we are working with blazor hybrid dot and my blazor hybrid we can do this kind of thing what we are doing for web versions we can do these kind of things with dot and my blazor hybrid as well so how to do this how to debug and inspect this thing for this also i have a video on my channel if you'll come or go to my channel there you will see you will see a video in my videos section how to inspect or debug something like that let me find out that video this one how to inspect or debug dot net maui blazor hybrid app from browser okay so i'll drop the link of this video in my description box so you can check this out for this what we actually do is we go to inspect call an edge or what was that not inspect as as colon inspect as colon slash slash then we have this inspect click on it then it will show the devices here right now what we'll do let's open the dedicated dev tools and it is able to get it web view com dot company name blazing quiz mobile this is the name of our let me zoom it so you will see this thing here we have this inspect and pause where we can simply say inspect it will open up these tab too okay and now here we can see all these things and we can try to modify and try to change the css styling and all these in real time and we can see these things so this is a bit uh, easier quicker to test and test out some stuff where we will simply come here on this off canvas only let's come to this off canvas here we have this width for 400 px instead of this thing let's try to have this 75% maybe 80% i guess 80% is fine or maybe 75% is also fine okay so 75% works for us cool so here what we will do we'll simply have just this style of canvas copy this copy this and let's go to our project here we will have that styling so for that what we'll do in this nav menu dot razor dot css only at the very top we'll have this of canvas dot start and we will remove everything we'll just have this width 75% here nothing else save it and now we should be good so save and then we already added that cancel on this one then one more thing if we go to this inspect here 
do we have something on this screen in here we don't have anything right we should have some backdrop what i mean by backdrop is if we go back to the off canvas if i click on it we see this backdrop so this is an element which gets added to the body or this div backdrop right we need to have this as well we'll simply cut this uh, sorry add it as html and copy this section div class of canvas backdrop fade and show let's copy this we'll go to our project here after this this div of canvas we will have this thing now on this f con off canvas backdrop fade show here also on this div also we'll have a on click from here also we'll call this toggle menu so that if we click on this section which will be a part of that uh, the backdrop if we click on it it should simply remove this left section this off canvas menu from here that is the behavior we want okay so let's try with all these changes save and let's try to restart now the menu should work same it should work fine as we are expecting it to work right let's open up the emulator it is opening and we are here we'll fix the design but right now let's see doing this if i click here it gone if i click here again if i click on this cross it is again gone so this thing is working there is no animation right now we'll do that animation but right now let's see if this is working right cool now first thing it is not showing all these things the correct uh, color and all these things so for this let's again go back to inspect reconnect sometimes this reconnect does not work so i simply go to inspect and click on that open dev tool again so that is what i mostly use so we'll go to this inspect here then click on this inspect again and it comes so we'll see these things here only so we have this button row this w100 there we have this button and then again display flex so on this w100 let's have display flex here so that these are side by side then on this button let's have btn sm btn default text white we can see this then inside this div we have this blazing quiz so on this div also let's have just text white okay then on this display flex w100 here we'll say align items center okay then we can have some gap as well so gap or we don't need gap right because we have the button and then this second div so on this div what we can do let's use flex grow one flex grow one yes it should take this entire width div flex maybe because this is display flex it is not getting it okay let's do this instead of display flex or just by content center text white let's simply use text center let's see if it works okay then let's try one more approach this div classes parent is display flex so on this we can also try mx auto and it still is not going to center something is not right display flex is there w100 with 100% what if i don't have this w100 oh maybe because on this row is not taking entire space all right okay okay so let's do this what we'll do let's go to the project we have this div class row inside this we should have div class call 12 here we'll have this div class w100 here we will have our display flex align 
align items center vertically center then we have this button then we have this display class this flex so on this we can directly use mx auto then for the section outlet let's do this let's have a uh, maybe label with class first thing m0 i don't want any margin here then i will use fw bold so that it is uh, font weight bold then text white then have that section save it okay and on this also this btn sm here also we'll use let's do text white and fw bold save it let's restart let's see how it is looking on our emulator okay loading and we can see this click on it click on it and again this blazing quiz this is not going uh, in center let's quickly go back to inspect and we'll see close this come here let's again inspect go to this blazing quiz and let's see that 12 12 pro and then call 12 12 should take the entire width container fluid row w100 okay on row let's add w100 so that it takes the entire width on row all right now this icon does not look very good i've just used this equal sign this is not what we'll use we'll use some icon but for now let's first add the div this w100 on row then for icon we can go to box icons boxicons.com and here we can use we can try to find that icon what should we call it hamburger menu yes this menu so we'll download one svg code we can download png html whatever we want but let's download svg we copied that svg or what does html will look like html will need that web component font web component. okay let's copy svg go to our project inside this button we will add that svg would be copied save and let's restart now we are here we can see this thing i don't know if you can see this this is in black color we need this in white color for this what we can do let's go to inspect from there only we'll see so inspect this is here this svg here we have this fill color which is 000 which is for black color right instead of this we can use simple white you see this white color so we should be good with this copy 249 249 let's use 250 250 250 let's go here here we have view box fill this so we'll say 255 255 255 which is for white color save it and we should be good now save everything now one more thing this inspect this color this is gradient which is not looking that good right let's see uh, this is where is this navbar navbar dark sidebar 
this linear gradient. So instead of this gradient, let's use one of these colors. Maybe this first one. Let's use this color. This is the hex color for this. Instead of background image, we'll use background and we'll use this color. Or we can use the existing color, the second color. This one. Here we'll say background and just use this color. So the any of these colors is fine. Maybe use this one or the previous one. Let's use the first one, which is kind of bluish. So we'll use this hex color. So background and just use this one. We'll use this color. Now this text is let's make this font bigger. So on this label, we can have some style. Let's say H2. H2 is fine, right? Okay, so we need to add H2. Then we need to add that background color. Let's go back to the code. On this label, we'll add H2. Then we'll go to the navmenu.razor.css here. We should have that with that background color. Background image. Oh, that that is not in nav menu. That is in main layout, I guess. Yes, the sidebar background image linear gradient. So instead of the background image, we are going to use background color, and we'll use this color. Save it, and now we should be good with that. What we saw here. All right. Now, while it is working fine, there is one uh, problem that is not problem, that is not intuitive. What we are doing here in our main layout, not this one, in our mobile main layout, we have nav menu and in our main layout, we have this body as a child. Then inside nav menu, we have this section page title and the section content that will be provided in this body so now we have the section outlet in this nav menu inside this one then we'll provide section content body in this body so the while it is working it will work the way it works whatever is the last section content rendered for some section outlet it will use that one but this is not uh, kind of the hierarchy is not correct okay the way we should have it it should be there the section outlet should be at the parent level it should not be at sibling level okay while it is working it will work there is no problem but ideally the, the structure wise it this does not look right what we should do we should go to nav menu and from nav menu actually we should extract out this section this section we should extract out this section we should have it here in this sidebar let's cut this section and we'll have it here and inside this nav menu we will just have this menu opened this thing so now we'll first remove this div this commented section we don't need this the next thing is this menu opened now we can't handle it from here because now our button or a toggle menu method that is in our layout. So here we'll have our code section and we'll have this logic menu opened and this thing it should come here now in our main layout. Now here we have this menu open so we can directly handle rendering of this nav menu so we don't need to have this menu open here we can simply remove this condition from here remove this code block entirely save it toggle menu we need this here as well right so we'll fix this one as well but for now we'll handle this nav menu rendering on the basis of this menu open from here here we'll say if 
underscore menu opened then only you should render this nav menu which will actually have that off canvas now from this nav menu we want to use this toggle menu so here we can again have a word block we can have an event callback here on let's say menu closed something like this this should be a parameter and this is required or not this is not required so we can simply use this directly here inside this we need this on menu closed and logout async we need this logout method there right yeah we need logout method there only okay so let's have that logout method here and how will we get this we can go to the nav menu or maybe main layout from web there we have this nav menu we can simply copy the logout method from there we can come to the mobile nav menu and we can have that logout async method here which we are already having these two things registered here so i guess we are good cool so we are good now we need to use this on menu closed on our main layout here we'll say on menu closed on this call this toggle menu method save everything now it should work same now we have this thing that page title section outlet we are setting it here and we are providing we will be providing body for this section outlet we will be providing section content inside this body so now semantically it is correct save everything stop everything let's start the app again we'll see it should show the correct behavior so app is here but we can't see that background color now we can see these things there is this blazing quiz and all this and that's because if we see the background color was no background color where did we set background color that was in sidebar nav menu dot razor dot css here this is fine something is not right okay let's go back to our inspect let's see what is happening here if we come here if we see we have this sidebar where we are setting this background color right and it is not working why it is not working page sidebar top row and because we have this top row background color in this top row this background color in top row in our main layout so we need to get rid of that top row because we are not using the top row now this background color we are not using it top row no not this one in main layout so tracer.css here we have this top row which we don't have now right if we check the main layout dot razor we have this top row which top row this should come from the nav menu because we copied it from nav menu what we'll do from nav menu dot razor dot cs we'll cut this top row we'll come to main layout dot razor dot css and we'll replace this top row with this one and we'll remove all other top row related css from main layout because we are not using this top row class here this top row class we are not using save it and in nav menu dot razor dot css we don't have top row so we can remove that top row and from here we can we'll clean all these things up later but for now we just want to see if everything is working let's try to restart let's see if we are able to see the the main nav menu and boom we can see this cool it is working we can see this 
Great. Now next thing we'll work on designing this this left section, this uh, the off canvas, the flyout. Okay. All right.